asked material. Alright, we'll open that up. So this is not going to be translucent, this is going to be masked. Yeah, that's not very good, is it? This mask here. And we don't get refraction. Well, let's see what we can actually do with some of this. So let's say we... Are we not even using this waterfall material thing here? This waterfall blueprint. Alright, so we're going to need a second waterfall um, object here. I'm just going to copy this out. So if we copy this and paste it, I can't just paste it out of this thing, can we? The selected component is inherited and cannot be reordered here. Well, we just want to paste it. You know, just... All right, so can we change this to this mask material? All right, so if we have this mask material, and we throw it at the same spot. And there it casts shadows. So that's definitely an issue. Hmm. Well, if we take this thing and we mess with it even more, like let's let's make it translucent. And then let's Make sure our cast shadow is masked is not set. And we'll have our opacity set here. And actually we need to undo a whole bunch of stuff to get this to work properly. Hmm. We need all this crap here. Copy. No, we need to paste it. Okay. 
All right, so we're supposed to. What goes in the top of that subtract? This thing just goes straight in to the bottom of that multiply. Then we just take the one minus, we add it in there, and then we multiply by this value here. So we'll see if this works. Got to compile all the shaders for all this stuff though. All right, so now we're translucent, okay. So we have our translucent object here, which is our second object, which is using our test waterfall. Uh, we need this masked waterfall material. This is movable, movable, and if we go to cast shadows, we want volumetric translucent shadows. And volumetric translucent shadows do not work with that reflection. So planar reflections and translucency. Let's see. Can't okay, make planar reflection work with translucent. You need to enable planar reflections with a checkbox at material. In here, 4.5, and I have a template, blah, blah. Translucent shadows. Unreal. Have you tried setting the volumetric translucent shadow in the details panel? Yes. Problem is the present work to opacity. To... Well, let's try turning off the refraction for this thing and see if that does anything. Oh, maybe the surface forward shading stuff is what we don't need. That's actually screwing this up. So we'll compile these shaders. So why don't we try it? volumetric directional maybe? No, it doesn't do anything. Apply fogging, separate translucency. Well, let me 
me just look at the water real quick. Quick. The water itself is a masked surface, which is opaque. It is not translucent. Yeah, volumetric translucent shadows just aren't working. So this is with the basic translucent object. Let's see if it looks anywhere near okay. So if we take the water opacity and make it like 100%. We'll just screw up our refraction just completely, make it just trash. Let's see, 0.5 and 0.5. Like, what can we do with this? Looks like we can kind of trick it into looking okay. You know, with the basic shadows in there. Hmm.
Yeah, that's just... It must be that you just cannot have... Opa op you know, semi-transparent shadows on an object like this. So... Yeah, I really have to... It's not rendering the shadows onto that thing, so I can't really look at it too well. As part of the preview. Well, let's see if we take the sky sphere and we change the we could change the cloud brightness to maximum, and then it looks like shit. Let's change the Like if we just take that sun and we put it out out of the window here. We've got this big hole here which doesn't help anything. We should plug that up. It was at it was at zero, so zero is there, so maybe just like five. Let's build the lighting and see if that changes anything. It's just we're messing with stuff, and uh, there's just so many little things that it's like, well, uh, we want to have a transparent object, and then ah, uh, nope, can't do it with reflections. It's like, well, shit. Okay, I guess um, we can't look through waterfalls unless the waterfalls are like totally opaque. Yeah, I could definitely see in that far.
well, what if the opacity mask was just complete and we used subsurface lighting on the damn thing or something like that, right? This didn't save, did it? It's not applying to the scene. God damn, I hate it when this shit happens. Okay, maybe it is, but it didn't apply to the scene. So let's see if this actually applies to the scene. And it totally didn't. What? All right, so if we've got this object, we want to cast the shadow even if this thing is invisible, and we want to make it invisible. What? Okay, hidden shadow says, if true, primitive will cast shadows even if hidden is true. And we're going to say, hide it. And then it doesn't cast the damn shadow. I don't understand. I think I'm. I think something's broken with the editor. Is it the volumetric translucent shadow has to be on? Okay. That's really dumb.
Or maybe it's that these translucent shadows aren't working when they should be on some of this stuff. Even now. Let's see if this thing in opaque mode works. See, there is a shadow there, but it's not a complete shadow. Like you see there are shadows on these rocks and stuff like that. Like that. But there's no shadow on the fucking waterfall. This is ridiculous. There's something really sick with this shadow stuff that just doesn't actually respect anything that happens in this in this engine. Like because at least with volumetric stuff, I mean the planar reflections, the reflections are not accurate is what's going on here. Because like there should be a shadow there, but then there's not a shadow there. Like this rock has got the right shadow on it. Regardless of what happens. But it's still there. Like we have the the object is hidden, and the object is supposed to be hidden. So I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, Karakan, the painted on wet on them stones. Then I am unsure of what you were speaking of. I still have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah. 
And you're talking about these things? They're 2D objects that are just drawn pictures and they're unlit or whatever. Yeah, they're unlit, translucent. They're, they're garbage. All right, so let's see. Um, hidden shadow casting objects with planar reflections. Unreal. Planar reflections slash hidden actors that show only actors not working. This issue? Oh, God, yeah, okay. So this is actually a bug. It has been backlogged. God damn it. Oh, it's the show only actors and hidden actors? No, that's not what we're talking about. This is not not the correct bug. So what I don't understand is, it's like with this reflection, these shadows are coming from that hidden actor that's there. Like I can, I can mess with this and say, don't do hidden shadows. And shadow two sided and nothing happens. And it does shadow stuff, but you would expect the shadows to be hard. You would expect for the the bloom lighting and all this stuff to not get washed out as it is. Like, it's not supposed to be like that. So let's see if we can disable lights on the sky sphere and if anything actually changes. Alright, so the lighting is working properly. The issue is the reflection capture is not taking into account the shadow of the object that's there.
Because if we set this rock here to movable, do we have the same issue? No. I thought we already had this working um, with the other scene. Like, what's different? Like, with our other scene here, with our, you know, grasslands at night. When we run over to this plane of reflection here, You know, we don't see the moon casting a shadow onto that garbage. So what's any what's different here? The masked lit sprite just has an opacity mask, which is set. It's got normals. It's surface mask default lit. And that's it. There's nothing crazy going on with it. So surface mask default lit. And it's two sided. Maybe that has something to do with it. You could try removing two sided. Let's see, tangent space normals is there, 0.33. I mean, roughness is in there, but that shouldn't matter, right? Well, if it's hidden, then, well, there's nothing there. So what is going on where this thing can block the light? Let's put this at the exact same spot, too, just... So there's even shadows being cast onto it. This is, this is just really odd.
It's like there's absolutely no shadows for the object. I mean, okay, I guess the same thing that I would do here is I would say um, hidden shadow and then visible false. All right, so nothing works with um, that. So reflections, okay, here we go. Hidden shadow, not working, planar reflections. I believe there's a visibility, visibility bug with planar reflections when I have it visible and not hidden in game. My performance tanks is expected. Can you see images? Blah, blah, blah. No, that's... Alright, so it looks like for you to cast shadows with an object, you have to actually render that object in the scene. And you can't just use the hidden shadows option on something because we've got this this mountain object. All right, well, I'm going to be right back. This may be a bug that. We did mess with some of this code before. I could maybe fix the bug inside of Unreal. All right, well, let's take a stab at it. What we're going to do is we're going to go crack open some of the stuff that I was messing with and see if we can do anything about it. So we're going to go back in our file history here. And um, I think we want to go to the Dashkin engine folder in the history of this. And it looks like over here, um, graphics, raster initial ID, reverse culling. His whole scene, directional shadow, T static rasterizer, Sol solid rasterization with backface color. Alright, so it's in shadow rendering. This is where this stuff is going to be. So let's look for the line that looks like this. Okay. All 
All right, so render projection. Okay, so depth bounds enabled. All right, rasterization state. All right, well, I need to fill up my water bottle. All right, so we know it's um, shadow rendering that CPP and like eight ninety ish. So inside of Unreal, let's go look through this solution real quick for B hidden and all that and see where it's actually used inside of their draw, call, draw calls and see if this All right, so it's inside a primitive component, so it's cast, cast hidden shadow. Oh, yeah, that's been screwed up for a while, hasn't it? Okay, so yeah, I've been streaming a whole bunch of garbage for a while. Detail mode allows rendering. And should render or cast hidden shadow. Should component add to scene, be scene add, should render, or cast hidden shadow.
All right, so how does this thing actually draw all this garbage? Like, set a projection stencil mask. If this is a pre-shadow mask, the projection, so it's pre-shadow, self-shadow only, do stuff. Draw a dynamic mesh of the render projection. Okay, this is where it is. My right, scope is whole scene shadow. Render whole scene shadow projections. Like hash render targets is what info. Don't render shadows for subjects which aren't view relevant. All right, so we're going to close the editor. Well, and really, you don't have to ask me all this crap one after another. Just we could just do this. All right. So if I boot this inside of the debugger. Hello Kento456, we are attempting to figure out why translucent objects do not cast shadows if they are hidden with a planar reflection. So this mountain, which is a masked sprite, is blocking the light, but there is a hidden object here which is this guy right here which is hidden but when we show him when we actually render it Doesn't seem to work either. I guess Shadow Two Sided needs to be on for it. to messed up this test water mast object is not two-sided we'll just make it two-sided just to uh, make sure okay so if it's two-sided and it's visible and all that it blocks light And we can make this even more obvious here with this opacity mask on. 
we can see that things are actually you know moving down there in the reflection but if we hide that thing so we do hidden shadows so it should shadow regardless and then we don't render it there are some shadows in the planar reflection but the lighting is overriding it so that's even more confusing is it's not necessarily that there are no shadows is that true at all I should take this first waterfall and just get rid of it. So there are shadows, but the light is overwriting the shadow too much. Honestly, that's even weirder. It's even weirder to me that there are shadows that are getting cast, but they're getting cast onto like the water or something, but they're not actually getting applied full strength. That's even, ah. like I would expect shadows to either work or not work, not like work but be fucked. Um, so what's going on here? 